Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Derek and I teach Python programming tutorials. In this one, we have a subscriber request who wants to know, how can we split entries in an Excel workbook depending on the values in a column? We'll do this using Python and Pandas. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our example data for this problem. We have an Excel workbook that just has three columns. So we have a simple data set that has name, training complete, and then shift. So we'll say that these are workers that need to complete some type of training and they each have their own shift. So let's say that we wanted to take this data set and split it up by the shift. So we wanted a new Excel workbook that we could pass on to our managers that has information about shift one employees, shift two employees, and shift three employees. Let's open up a text editor now and see how we can do that. Here in our text editor, the first thing we need is to import the packages that we'll be using. And this one, we're just using pandas. So we'll import pandas as PD. If you don't have pandas installed, you can open up a terminal or a command prompt and install it by using pip. If I didn't have pandas, I could just type in pip3 install pandas. I already have it, so I'll close out of that. The first thing we need is to be able to access that data in our Excel workbook. So we need to define the file path and then read it in as a data frame. Let's define the file path now. So we'll say Excel file path will be equal to the file path of your Excel worksheet. I'm in the same directory as my Excel workbook, so I'll just have to type in the name of my Excel workbook. Mine was called trainingstatus.xlsx. So we'll put in trainingstatus.xlsx. And if you would like to use the same Excel worksheet, I'll be sure to post that in the description below. So now we have the file path to the Excel workbook that we're using. Next, we need to read it into a data frame. We'll say our data frame will be equal to the pandas method, so pd, read Excel, and then we'll pass in that Excel file path. Once we have this, let's print data frame to make sure that we've read this in successfully. So we'll open up a terminal or a command prompt, and we'll execute our script. Mine is called separate by value.py. So I'll type in python3 separate by value.py and hit enter. We get back the result of our data frame from that Excel worksheet. Let's comment that out. Once we have access to the information, now we just need to provide the logic on what we want to go into each worksheet. For us, we want a different worksheet for each of the unique values in that column of shift. So we'll use a pandas method called unique. We'll do this by defining a variable. So we'll say split values. This is what we want all of our splits to be done on. And then we'll do this on the data frame column. So we're accessing the data frame column by indexing it. So data frame shift, which is just this column in our workbook, dot unique. This is a method, so it'll end in parentheses. If we were to print split values, we should just get back all the unique values in that column. Once we get back that result, we see we get a list of all those unique values. We could just code out if statements here because we only have a few unique values. However, I'm trying to code this in a way so if you have many more unique values, you don't have to go and type in manual conditions. Instead, we can just put each unique condition within the column in its own worksheet by doing it this way. We'll comment this line out. So now we have access to each of the unique values in that column. We can say something like, for every value in our split values, we want to create a new data frame. We'll say df1. It doesn't matter what we name this. It just has to be different than our data frame here. will be equal to the data frame that we have above, indexed, where the data frame column, so our data frame being indexed by the data frame column of shift is equal to the value that we're currently on. So what this will do each time we iterate through is we'll look at that list of our split values that we saw before, these values here. We'll take one of these and then find all the entries in our data frame from above. Then we'll pull those values out and place those into a new data frame. Once we go through and find all of these data frames, we just need to name them and then export them as Excel worksheets. We'll say output file name and we'll just concatenate a few strings together to name our files. So we'll say something like shift 
and then we'll concatenate the value that we're pulling out as a string. So we're casting the string type onto our value. So we're saying shift whatever 132 and then we'll say training. This is an Excel worksheet, so it has to end with an Excel file type name. So we'll use XLSX. Next, we'll say data frame one. So each of the individual data frames that we index, we'll use the pandas method to Excel, Excel, and then we'll pass in the output file name. We'll say index is equal to false to make these look a little bit nicer. Now we'll save this and execute. We get back no errors, which is a good sign. So let's go see if we have those new Excel worksheets. We have each of those new Excel worksheets here. So we have shift one training, shift two training, and shift three. We'll open one of these up. And we see we just have information from the first shift and shift one trainings. And that's pretty much all for this one. I hope you find this useful in some way. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know that too. Until next time.